Good evening, Postal 268 here, and this is going to be my May profile for my Red Eyes Black Dragon deck. I've been playtesting the new support and it is freaking awesome. I cannot wait for it to be released. This deck will be amazing. But for now, here is the best I can come up with, especially after losing the rulers. But uh, on another matter, if you'd like to see previous versions, just click the little explanation point up there. And if you'd like to look at some duels with the previous version of this deck, click the little explanation point up there, as well as my volcanic pendulum deck. And go ahead and subscribe now so that you can see future versions of this deck. So we are going to start with the monsters. And of course, what is any dragon deck without Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon? Let me get that centered there. So we got him at one, obviously. He's limited. And we have one Eclipse Wyvern, because he's pretty much the only thing you should be searching with this, unless you want to search Red Eyes for some weird reason. One Light Pulsar Dragon. You can banish a... Uh... Oh yeah. For those of you that don't know, when this is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this. And then when this is banished from the graveyard, you can add this to your hand. Pretty awesome. Light Pulsar Dragon is a Chaos Dragon. You can banish one light and one dark to special summon him, which is good for getting rid of Wyvern. Or you can normal summon him, your choice. When he dies, he can special summon a level 5 or higher dragon monster from the graveyard. Pretty awesome. We have two Dark Flares, which are also Chaos Dragons. Same thing, banish a light and a dark to special summon, or you can normal summon, your choice. Their ability are you can pitch a dragon from your hand, and then send one from your deck to the grave to banish a card in either graveyard. These are very good for filling up your grave. Next we have Rescue Rabbit at 1, because he's limited, but he's really awesome for pulling out any two normal monsters with the same name, level 4 and below, which you can do for both Alexandrite dragons, there's some normal level 4 dragons, good for XZ summoning. Or, you can go ahead and pull out your tuners, which are three level 2 Galaxy Servants. And they are dragons, tuners, level 2, all that junk. Then we have, of course, at 2, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Now the main focus is using the various summoning tactics to pull out these two. Level 2 tuner and level 7 normal dragon. So that you can summon Azure Eyes, and we'll explain that later. But the main focus is spamming Azures every turn. Next for the monsters, we have three mathematicians. These are very important to the deck. They, when they're normal summoned, you can send any level four lower monster from your deck to the grave, which you can choose from a slew of two Carbonadon. And when they're in the graveyard. You can banish one of these to special summon any level 7 or lower normal dragon. You can pull Red Eyes or the Tuner. Your choice. You can also send a Kidmoto Dragon. When he's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon any dragon from your hand. As long as you don't want to summon anything but dragons the rest of the turn, and you can't attack. And then of course, another thing to search for with your carbon is a Labradorite Dragon, which is a level 6 Tuner. And of course, combined with Mathematician, at level 3 equals level 9. I will explain a good thing to pull with that in a moment. For the spells, we have one DDR, it's just handy, but we didn't have room for more. One Soul Charge, because it's limited. And uh, oh yeah, DDR, pitch a card, special summon a banished monster. Soul Charge, pay a thousand life points per and special summon as many monsters in the graveyard as possible. Dark Hole. Destroy all the monsters on the field. Got one of those. Burial from a different dimension. Only one because it's limited. You can return any three banished monsters to your graveyard. It's really handy. Especially because you can recycle carbons that way. Foolish Burial. You can send any monster from your uh, deck to your grave. It's pretty nice. Two Dragon's Mirrors. These can be used to banish any two normal monsters for your fusion, which is... Oh, I can find it, hold on. First, the dragons. We run two of these. They're awesome. They are... Oh, on, focus. They are completely unaffected by monster effects and can be only destroyed in battle by a normal monster. 
So two dragons here. Uh, two mystical space typhoons. Because yes, you want to destroy spells and traps. Two forbidden lance. These are totally awesome for saving your monsters from the effects of spells and traps. Or downgrading your opponent's monster's attack. Three dragon shrines. You can send any two dragons from your deck to the grave. It's like having extra souped up foolish burials. Thing is, the first one has to be normal. The second one can be anything. Unless you just want to send one. And then three silvers cry. Special summon any normal dragon from your graveyard. This is pretty much what I replaced the rulers with. And being able to keep things coming back and back and back out of the grave. Not quite as good, but still effective. And that's it for the spells. Last is just three traps. Royal Decree, because we don't like traps in this deck. Now for the extra. And to explain the main strategy of the deck. First we'll get over, we'll go over some of the just random staples. This is Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. E2 level fours. And you can pitch all his materials, half your opponent's monsters attack, and then steal it for yourself. It's really good at getting over stuff. Um, we'll skip the rest of the XZs for now. We'll come back to those and I'll, I'll explain why. Next will be Samsar Dragon, a level 5 Synchro. It, when it dies by your opponent, if you kill it, it doesn't work. Your opponent has to kill it. But you can special summon any monster from either graveyard. It's really good if you combine it with Red Eyes Darkness Dragon and Light Pulsar. It, it soups up the Chaos Dragon loop because Light Pulsar will bring this back. This will bring Darkness Dragon back, and so on and so forth. You can just do this with Light Pulsar. This dies, bring back Light Pulsar. Light Pulsar dies, bring back Samsara. Pretty nice loop. Uh, next will be three Azure Eyes Silver Dragons. These are your level 9 Synchros. When they're summoned, Dragon-type monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by effects. And at the beginning of your turn, during your standby phase, you can special summon any normal monster from your graveyard. So these are very, very handy. Another thing is Cloud Castle, another level 9 synchro. That when it's synchro summoned, only when synchro summoned, these are pretty much if you special summon them all. But when these are synchro summoned, you can special summon any level 9 monster from your graveyard. Hence, Azure. And now the reason we want to summon so many level 9s is for all our rank 9, whoops, Rank 9 Synchros. But, forgot, your fusions are also level 9. First of Dragons, I already went over. And then of course, a random Synchro is Star Eater. You can do that with Galaxy Serpent and any level 9 monster, if you need an option real quick. So of course, now we'll go into the XZs. Ugh, getting a little tired standing here. So first is Phantom Fortress, I can't say that last word. Try to get it where you can read it on there. There we go. Um, two level lines, and you can choose to activate one of these effects. You can either banish one card your opponent controls, banish one random card from their hand, banish one card from their graveyard, or banish the top card of their deck face up. Pretty handy there. This is good to get out in any situation because he doesn't target or destroy, so it's good to get the bells. Just anytime you need to get rid of something really fast. Downside is, though, he's a machine, so he's not going to be protected by Azura. Next, we have number 92, Heartless Dragon. Any three level 9 monsters. You cannot be destroyed in battle. Your opponent will take any battle damage you would have taken, whether he attacks or you attack. And at the end of your opponent's turn, you can detach one material and banish every card that they summoned or set that turn. And if he dies while he still has material, like if he's destroyed into the graveyard, He'll special summon himself and then gain 1,000 attack for every banished card, period. I've had this guy up to 20,000 attack before. Especially when I had the rulers. A little bit more difficult these days, I don't banish as many cards. Next, we're going into our Galaxy Eyes. We have number C107, the old Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon. Three level nines, when he's summoned, he can attach the material, negate all face-up cards on the field till the end of the turn, and your opponent can no longer activate effects on the field, period. And he's 4,500 attacks, so that's really nice. Next we have uh, number 95, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. Uh, it's been pretty hyped recently, but once you 
E dragons died, a lot of the decks did. But he could be special summoned straight onto Tachyon or any 3 level 9. So it's still pretty easy to get out with this deck. And when he's summoned, you can send any 3 dragons you want from your deck to the grave, and then your opponent has to banish 3 monsters from their deck. You can detach a material and he can attack up to twice this turn, as long as you're attacking monsters. He cannot attack directly twice. And if you attack a monster and it dies and there's no other monsters, you can't attack again. And he's 4,000 attacks, that's really nice. So that's the extra deck. We've gone over pretty much everything. The side deck isn't done. Um, I kind of dismantled it while I was going through my volcanic deck, because I've been using that mostly until the new support comes out. But this is just a quickie one I threw together. Um, got Queen Dragon Dijin for your rank 4. She can detach material and special summon any uh, level 5 or higher dragon type monster from your graveyard. So that's pretty handy. Next we have three deck lockdowns. These are cheap versions of Mistake. They're for two turns, I believe, yep, until your second standby phase. Let's see, uh, neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand, and monsters cannot be special summoned from the main deck. So this could hurt you a little bit, I'm not sure. I've been toying around with it. It's good against Necros and any other deck that's going to search a lot. Um, three Breakthrough Skill. This is just a must. Even with Boiled Decree. It's just a good one. Negate Monsters Effects. And then during your turn you can banish it from your graveyard and negate their effects again. Now here is a very important one as well, is Natura Beast. And I know what you're thinking, where are your Earths? Well, if you have a DNA transplant, which I also cite three, and you pull out Mathematician, pitch Carbon, banish Carbon for Galaxy Serpent, make them both Earth, and then summon Natura Beast. And now you've got your effective no more Necroz. <laughs> I love opening with that combo too, it's really awesome. And of course, three flying C. Now you could choose, if you're not having too much difficulty with Burning Abyss and such, to put in Lancias. Lancias are good. It's just your decision. Side deck is all just personal to how you play the game. So, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Uh, I like it pretty well. And this has been Postal 268. Y'all have a nice day.